Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you all of my beauty trash. Oh my stars, look at all this stuff. Um, I have not filmed the empties video since April. So we've got three months of trash to go through. So buckle up, hang on, and let's get started. Okay, I already filmed this once and I didn't have my microphone turned on. So I'm gonna have to do it again. But anyway, here we go. First product from Wee Dad. This is the um, Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. My favorite um, hair gel of all time. Have used it time and time again. Um, you can get them, you can order it or get it at Ulta and Sephora, but you can only get the small bottles, but the big liters like this, you have to order from the Wee Dad website itself, but they have sales all the time, 25% off. And that's when I order these and I'll order two or three of them and it'll last me for the whole year. Definitely would repurchase and recommend if you have curly hair. A bath product is the Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Avocado Oil um, Super Moisturizing Foaming Bath. Have enjoyed this, it's definitely moisturizing. Um, just be careful because it will leave your tub a little bit slick, but definitely do recommend the Dr. Teal's Foaming Baths. I have a shower gel from Jason. This is the lavender, which was not my favorite scent, but I do like the formula of this line of shower gels. They don't irritate. Um, they don't have any parabens, no harsh sulfates, uh, no petroleum. So um, I ordered my first initial shipment of these off of Vitacost where they were on sale, but I have been seeing them pop up at TJ Maxx. This one specifically came from TJ Maxx around $8. So I do, I do enjoy those. I have some um, makeup remover wipes. I have this one from, this was the Equate brand, a uh, little travel pack that I got to take with us on vacation. And then my tried and true, my favorite ones that I get from Big Lot since it's the Apple line. And love those, have repurchased time and time again. Then I have a bar of soap from Dove. This is for sensitive skin. Uh, sometimes I've been doing a lot of exercising, so I've been having to do a lot more showers, and I need something that's very gentle uh, like this to use on the lady parts while I'm at the gym, so that's why I have that for. From Philosophy, I have the Purity Made Simple. This is a makeup face wash that will take everything off and just really simple. Um, it rinses clean. It doesn't irritate the eyes. It doesn't leave any residue. I've used it for years. I will stray from it, but then I always go back and I got, uh, gosh, I think I have another one of these, uh, the big size that QVC at one time was doing a special on them or something, but definitely like the purity made simple. Another face wash that I have that I really enjoyed, and this is from the brand Sum, S-U-M. I'm not for sure on the pronunciation of that, but it's the Miracle Rose Cleansing Stick, and that's exactly what it was. It was just a cleansing stick that had a little bit of pieces or particles of rose stem in it, and it was kind of exfoliating, but it was very gentle. It did kind of lather up a little bit so it's a little bit foamy. Um, I liked using it as my second cleanse at night after I'd taken all the makeup off with the Purity. Then I would use this with my um, Clarisonic and everything would come off. My husband liked it and it would be definitely something I would think about purchasing again. And that is a Korean skincare brand. Then I have a product from Drunk Elephant. This is the Sea Firma Day Serum. Um, I won't be repurchasing this. It's just too expensive for what it is. Um, there's other um, C serums out there, uh, vitamin C products that you can get that are a lot cheaper than this that work just as well. So won't be repurchasing that for that reason. Then I have this. This was a in shower mask and it's a purifying in shower mask from Freeman. I got this at Ulta. It had sea kelp and probiotics and basically it was just a, a scrub basically is what it was. Just a really fine particle scrub in a gel um, base that you just rubbed all over the face and you could leave it on for a few minutes while you're showering then rinse off. I really like the um, 
the exfoliate from Kate Somerville better and I was hoping that this would be similar to that but it wasn't so um, I won't be repurchasing that then I have from Swispers some applicators um, I like to use these um, when I'm putting on my makeup um, they have a little pointy end here that you can clean up around the eye or around the lip then it has a flat paddle and here that you could use to um, apply lip balm and different things like that that you need to that's in a pot that you need to dip out you don't want to put your fingers in these are really good for that and I got these at um, Walmart another hair product is from Pantene and this is the no crunch um, whip mousse and um, they no longer carry this or sell it in the stores you can still find it on Amazon I ordered several of these a while back but I think once those are gone I probably won't be using them anymore I like the way they make my hair feel but if I use too much it can have a tendency to maybe dry my hair out so I have to be really careful but I like the feel of it though this is a product for Monet now this product I liked but it did not like my hair um, it's the reshape root lifter for volume um, it definitely worked it definitely gave me the volume in the crown like I would want especially as my hair gets a little bit longer it kind of help it kind of weighs down a little bit here in the crown I think that everyone's hair does that anyway and I would use this it would work really good with giving me the volume and that I wanted here but it just dried my hair out so bad I just I just can't do a product that's going to just make my hair feel like straw so I would not um, repurchase this I also have from Monet the replenishing mask um, again it just dried my hair out my hair would feel really good for a couple of days and it would just after that would feel like straw so I just I cannot justify the price of using Monet when it does my hair that way so I have some more products from Dr. Teal's. These are the Epsom salt soaks that my husband like and I like to use in our bath. We have like five of these. There's different ones. There was a um, one with rosemary mint. Then I have the coconut, the eucalyptus, the um, mineral salt, the pink Himalayan. Enjoy these. Have repurchased. And you can get those at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, different places like that. A deodorant from Degree um, definitely will be repurchasing. I have to have some deodorant that is heavy duty. This girl sweats, and when she sweats, she smells. So I I can't do the natural deodorant. So purchased and repurchased. Then I have my all-time favorite hair oil, and this is from Kerastase. It's the Elixir Ultimate um, Oleo oleo complex absolutely love this um, i have found it a time or two at nordstrom rack at a discount um, but i would definitely pay full price if i have to and um, so i have that sugar bear hair vitamins these have folic acid biotin and vitamin c in them they're just a little gummy bear i eat two of these every morning i think they have helped with um, my hair and my nails and I just really like those recommend have some probiotics um, these are the doctor formulated probiotics once daily women's um, for vaginal digestive and immune system do you recommend these very much have some cotton rounds from Ulta this was the Ulta brand that I used to rave and rave and rave about and they've changed them and now they are crap don't buy them they will fall apart on you and I'm so disappointed because I really used to really really like those a more Pacific is my enzyme peel this was a powder and you would just add a little bit of water to it and you could use it to exfoliate your face and do a peel a um, couple times a week I really enjoyed this it took a very long time to use up um, it was in last year's uh, project pan video um, series for the whole year and I didn't use it up it just it took a long time um, one reason being is that it has in here a little well 
and when you pour the product out you pour it out like this and it will just dispense out the exact amount that you need for that wash it's not going to pour out a whole bunch so you're not going to be wasting product so it's a very cost effective for that reason because it is only allowing you to dispense the what you're supposed to need for that wash so I'm definitely going to be putting this on my um, Sephora VIB wish list coming up in November I'm going to repurchase then I have from Cozarex which is a Korean skincare brand and this is the triple C lightning liquid and I ordered this off of Soko Glam and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing. I have some other vitamin C products that I'm um, using right now, but this is one that I'm going to, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to consider repurchasing this one. My absolute favorite product from The Ordinary is um, this product here, which is the lactic acid. If you have tried Cindy Riley's Good Jeans and you really liked the way the Good Jeans worked, but you didn't like the price tag of the Good Jeans, get this. This works just as good, if not better, in my opinion. And you could probably get 10 of these to, for the price of one bottle of the Good Jeans. So I highly recommend that. I'm going to repurchase that. I have another product that I really did enjoy and this is from By Terry and it's the Light Expert Click Brush Illuminating Flawless Foundation Brush in the color number one, Rosy Light. I didn't like the dispense system of it um, because obviously you can't clean the brush but I liked this because if I had a foundation that was a little bit on the neutral side when I needed it to be more on the cool side because I have pink undertones I could put this a layer of this onto the face you know a thin layer and then blend that neutral toned foundation over it and it would really make it really pretty and it would give me give me the cool tone that I needed so I liked it for that reason so this may be a repurchase Now this product here, um, I did not like when I was first using it. It was in a kit. It's from Tatcha, and it is the Camellia Lip Balm, Conditioning Lip Balm. And um, I didn't like it as a lip balm. I just felt it was just kind of uh, okay as a lip balm. And I was what I was using every day for lip balm because I wanted to use it up before it went bad because you know, Tatcha products are not cheap. Anyway, I was having some really problems with some really dryness under my eyes. So I thought one day, I'm, I'm just going to put some of this underneath my eyes. And by golly, I loved it for that. I Every morning, right when I would sit down to do my makeup, would put my um, sunscreen on and then would do my eyes, my eye makeup. And then before I would start doing my face makeup, I would dab some of this underneath the eyes. And it just really helped to hydrate underneath the eyes. It didn't disrupt the application of the makeup that was going on over the top of it. Um, it didn't make it um, not last any less or any longer than it would without it. And I am going to be repurchasing this in the fall just for that reason alone. I'm not going to use it on the lips. I'm going to use it under my eyes. The product from Tatcha that I did not like is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia cleansing oil. Um, this was supposed to be a makeup remover, but this stuff stung my eyes like nobody's business. It did not remove my makeup. Um, it left a film over the eyes after when I would rinse. I just didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. And it's pricey and mm -mm, nope, wouldn't do it. Now this product I really did like, and this is from Belief, and it's the moisturizing eye balm. And I have some other eye creams that I'm going to be using up, but once those are done, I'm going to get the full size of this. So this will probably be something I'll purchase during the Sephora B VIB sale also. But it was just so, so moisturizing underneath the eyes for at night. Ooh, I really, really did like that. There's no anti-aging in it. Um, I would use maybe a under eye serum for anti-aging benefits and then put this over it for just moisturization. Another one that is good for moisturization, it has some anti-aging benefits in it and this is from Mizon and it's the um, 
the multifunction formula snail repair eye cream, which is really good. Anything that's got snail in it, you want to get. You want to get it and you want to put it on your skin because your skin is going to benefit from it. Um, this was a really good size jar too. It took a while to go through it and I really did enjoy having this in my arsenal of moisturizers for my eyes. A mascara from Buxom. I did not like this. This was just a deluxe size sample. I didn't like the brush. It was very pokey and I didn't like it. It seemed like every time I would use it, I would poke myself with it. Don't like it. I didn't like the formula. We would not purchase. Now this guy, on the other hand, I would purchase time and time again. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. It's just a mascara base that you put on before you put on your mascara and it just kind of helps your mascara, whatever you're putting on, just work a lot better, go on a lot better. I never really thought that the primers for your mascara was really a must have, but since I started using the L'Oreal one, I I can tell the difference when I use it and when I don't use it. Definitely would repurchase that. This one is from Dior. This is the Dior Show. Um, uh, what is this called? Um, Magnonot, Mag, Maximizer in 3D. It works, but I'm telling you that L'Oreal works just as good, if not better, and it's a lot cheaper than L'Oreal. So. You can get the L'Oreal Ulta it's on sale. You can use coupon. Save your money and get the L'Oreal. The next product I have is from Trish McAvoy. And this is the Eye Base Essentials in Demure. And basically what I just used this for was just a eye lid primer. It was something I had in my collection. I had had it in there for a while. Wanted to use up before it dried up and before it went bad. Because um, Trish McAvoy products are not cheap. And it was... It worked fine as an eye base. Um, I don't know if it made the eye shadow last any longer, but it didn't hurt to put it on there. It kind of helped. I have a lot of um, discoloration on my eyelids, so I definitely have to use something to put on them first before I start with eyeshadow. And this did the trick. a couple of sponges from Real Techniques that I really do like. Um, you can buy these in a multi-pack at Ulta. Again, they go on sale all the time. Plus, you can use those little $3.50 off coupons. I like to use these for, for my foundation to just kind of pounce it into the skin, just like that. And then you can use the little pointy end for up underneath the eye. They're definitely very multifunctional. You could spray them and um, get them a little wet and put it into your highlighter and you could do your highlighter onto your cheeks and make it look really glowy like that. Just a really good sponge. I like those better than I do the beauty blenders. And last but not least is this product here from Hourglass and this is the Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Primer. Uh, it was just a little deluxe size sample that I took with me to Vegas because I knew I was needing something that was going to be a really heavy duty um, silicone based primer even though I don't really like silicone but I knew I would need something like that while I was out there to help make the makeup stay on better because I knew once we left the hotel of the morning we wouldn't be coming back until nighttime and I needed something that was going to make the makeup last and this did the trick not disappointed so anyway so that is it for my empties I hope that you have enjoyed don't forget to click on the little subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos and um, you make sure you want to be subscribed because there will be some hidden giveaways in some of the future videos coming up so you don't want to miss those. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.